Hello. Uh, hello, may I speak with Jim Tomey, please? This is him. Jim, this is Jack O'Connell with the Baseball Writers Association in New York. I'm calling to let you know that the baseball writers have elected you to the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. It's, it's just surreal. This is all just so <laughs> special. I, uh... There's a lot of emotions right now, but thank you so much for this call. You have no idea what this means. That phone call touched off plenty of Jim Tomey emotion, but also a Peoria celebration. This was the scene at the Tomey party at Gebby's Restaurant in Peoria Heights. The emotion in Jim's father, Chuck Tomey, was one of the most memorable camera shots of my life. Chuck's little boy was going to the shrine with legends like Babe and Lou and Jackie Robinson at the Hall of Fame. When you walk in a place, the first two guys you see is Babe Ruth and uh, Ted Williams, the statues right there. So, I'll tell you, he's in pretty good company with his stats. Um, believe me, he's, uh, he didn't back in. He did it right. The January call had Peorians calling for July reservations in New York. We all had to get to tiny Cooperstown to honor Peoria's Hall of Fame slugger, and what a weekend it was. Hey, Saturday night, one of the coolest events I ever covered. Not a game, but a parade. And what a parade. The Saturday Night Hall of Fame parade sends each baseball legend down Main Street. From hammering Hank Aaron to Cubs greats like Billy Williams. Yeah, I found some Cardinal greats. How about the Wizard, Ozzie Smith? And then the final six trucks brought the class of 2018. I don't think anyone had more fun than Jim Tomey. Tomey turned and waved at everyone, but especially those yelling, Peoria! I saw well over 100 people from Peoria, and that's not counting the Tomey family. Peoria pride was everywhere in Cooperstown. Seeing them, I seen the signs, you know, the pride of Peoria, you know, how, how special. Your hometown is ultimately, you know, that's your foundation. Uh, and I'm very proud to call that home. I love Peoria. We have never had an inductee from Peoria, Illinois. And Jimmy is, I mean, now I say we get a statue. <laughs> we need a statue for Jim Tomey. We are just thrilled. We went to the Hall of Fame Museum, and you look at all the, the, the icons of baseball that are there, and, and then there's somebody from Peoria, Jim Tomey, and you know him, you the family, and it's surreal. It's just unbelievable. On to induction Sunday. Jim Tomey practiced his Hall of Fame speech for months in his backyard. He even flew to Cooperstown two weeks ago to practice in an empty field. But that field was far from empty on Sunday. 53,000 fans, the second biggest crowd in Hall of Fame history, packed the induction ceremony. A ceremony that started with the Tomey, but not with Jim. Rather, his daughter Lila brilliantly singing the national anthem. For the It's not every day a dad gets a chance to share the stage with his kid on a day as special as this. You sang so beautifully. Hey, one of the neatest things about Jim Tomey can be found in Cleveland. It's a statue of Jim Tomey, center field at Progressive Field. A lot of people want to know why that picture is of uh, that statue is of Jim pointing his bat. Well, that's kind of the iconic image of Jim Tomey, Jim pointing his bat. When did that start? Well, it started as a timing mechanism for Jim Tomey, but it actually started when Jim and some Indian teammates were watching the movie The Natural. And in the movie The Natural, Robert Redford points his bat at the pitcher before taking a swing. Charlie Manuel, Jim's longtime hitting guru, told him, why don't you try that? And the rest is 612 home run history. So give Robert Redford or maybe Roy Hobbs some credit for Jim's home runs.